And tonight, members of a Little Rock fire station, Fire Station 9, which took a direct hit that day, are telling their stories. From their initial shock to their determination to continue serving. The crew members developed an even stronger bond in the wake of the storm. Here's our Cassandra Webb. It was nearly one year ago when the March 31st tornado tore through central Arkansas, taking down Little Rock Fire Station 9 in its wake. Captain Ben Hammond was on duty at the time and recalls the surreal moment that tornado hit. It was a moment of surprise for us and it was a moment that came upon us before we knew what was happening. It was overwhelming. It was... Um, We've, we've seen damage before, but when we came out of the room we decided to take shelter in and we saw the devastation at our station, we knew that uh, we were in a bad situation. Despite sustaining significant damage, the crew managed to respond to calls and help people in the aftermath. We had to go to work. There were things to do and there were uh, emergencies that we had to deal with, so we had to go to work. It's kind of ingrained in our system. On, uh, from the beginning of your career, you, they try to teach you, you know, you got to put your feelings aside and do your job for the most part. The tornado caused logistical challenges, forcing firefighters to find different arrangements. They're now working out of Fire Station 20 in a different part of the city. And those were some trials that we never really thought we would have to go through. Um, and to be honest with you, that's still uh, an issue of concern today. Um, it's still a situation where our apparatus are at different places in the city. The crew also expressing concerns about future severe weather, recognizing the importance of being prepared. We have to consider now uh, the possibility of us being in the path of destruction. One gift in the mess was the community rallied to support these firefighters, offering them help and expressing their gratitude for a job well done. And we're, we're very thankful for everything that the community and this fire department uh, has done since then. Um, it, it's a lot of work to rebound from something like this. Remarkably, the crisis brought the crew closer, strengthening their sense of camaraderie. We knew then that we had each other's backs, not that we didn't before, but we really have each other's backs now. The crews at Station 9 came together that day. We stood together ever since. And they'll stand together again and again, despite what wicked weather may come our way. Cassandra Webb for us tonight. Cassandra, thank you very much. The process of rebuilding Fire Station 9 is underway. It will likely be at least a year, maybe two, before it's done.